join us. Matt, we'll start with the news of the day for the Bruins and the Zdeno Chara extension. How'd you feel about that? I thought it was great. I thought it hit the sweet spot uh, as far as, you know, taking care of him, showing respect to him, but also uh, not uh, tying their hands as far as the salary cap going forward. It's only one year, and those bonuses go to the following year. So that's what, that's what he uh, is worth, and that's uh, good to see that he was willing to take that. I'll ask you the same thing I asked the people on FanCred, and that is if Peter Shirelli were still here, what would that contract look like? <laughs> well, probably about $7 million. <laughs> no, no, three years, 13 yeah. with a no-movement clause. That's what it yeah. would have been. I mean, sure. I mean, you know what? At the, at the rate that they ended up paying him, I wait, maybe would have gone that second year because you know he's playing two more years at least. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, Peter Shirelli would have taken it to the extreme. Okay, so what, what I think is, you know, and the, the best part of it is – the one year, you know, the one yeah. year. And, and, and when you go down the list of young kids on this team, Matt, uh, and how the NHL works now, where you got to pay these kids on their restricted years, which is just, I still, I think bananas and it's a, that's a whole nother topic, yeah. but you got McAvoy up in two years. You got Donato up in two years. You got DeBrusque up in two years. You got Heinen up in, you know, maybe one or two, like it's right. All these guys are up. So you know, they're going to have to make some decisions on those young guys, maybe sooner rather than later, but they would have been totally porked without any flexibility. So the one year, I think, is yeah. absolutely crucial. And you say Charles is going to play two more years, but, you know, when you're plus 40, you never know. So they had to right. get that one year. Yeah, and you know what, too? When you, you name all those guys in be our phase, let's face it, they're not all going to be here. At some point, push comes to shove. You got other prospects coming behind them. You're going to have to trade some of them, especially if you want to maybe, you know, add to your team next year, depending on how this goes this year. You see what your weaknesses are. If you don't win the cup, I mean, obviously there's a good chance they will. But uh, if you don't win, then you see what your weaknesses are and you fill in with, with uh, some of these kids.